Okay, so a while back somebody made a video saying how MS arrows were overpowered. Now, they kind of had a biased uh, person. They were going up against a healer that was had uh, buffs on, as well as a book, and was using songs. Now they were bitching saying they were not able to do enough damage. So, we're going to go ahead a decent gear. I mean, 851 melee DPS, so we're going to go ahead and just buff up the DPS shit. And you know, we'll break the 1k cap. And, you know, we'll even throw one of these on for, you know, what is it, 20% skill damage extra? Skill damage. No, it's 10. Oh, I was saying 20. Okay, so we got 14% skill damage. Now, they were saying that, um, Emma's arrows needed a buff. Just based on attacking a healer that was running buffs like this, running songs, you know, for defense, and having high toughness. I have shit toughness, because I have none right now, because I broke my jewels. But anyway, so they said, and the serum needed a buff. Now, going on that logic, we could just say the same thing about melee, because I'm running at 1k DPS, and I'm hitting 400s, and these are slower than what the arrows are going. Now, you could do that with anything, you know, say, oh, it's, you know, needs a buff, which I don't think that's the case. I think there's not really a need for a buff, because you could say that with any kind of damage type, because somebody that's built up for it. 1k, you know, 1k is about my high point, and yeah, I mean, it's not like, I mean, there's crits even too, and they're 1k. Now, bitching about arrows saying they're not good enough, I mean, if you want to say that, true, but arrows have range, that's one advantage they have over melee. Now this person, purple, he is helping me. He has decent gear score. Um, he's pretty tanky. And it's a close baseline to about what he was going up against. Maybe a little bit weaker based on he doesn't have a epic T6 shield. But you can see, I mean, it doesn't really need a buff. Like, archery really doesn't. I mean, it's about the same all around. There's a, you know, damage can only get so high. I mean, and you're not going to be able to really kill a healer if they're tanky like this. Because they can just heal themselves up. Like he's doing right here. I mean, I'm running something extra too. I'm running 10% extra skill damage based on how one of those drinks. But still, I mean, it's hard to base off something just based on what you have, uh, you know, the evidence that Endless Arrows guy had. It's just by saying, oh, look, I'm not hitting enough. I mean, you're hitting enough, you're going up against a tank and a healer. You know, the downside is, the healer won't be able to kill you. They're going to be playing songs to keep themselves defensed. But you're not going to be able to kill them either. So, I mean, you could kill them with a group of people, but alone it's going to be hard. Like, I'm doing decent here. But he can easily heal himself up. Purple, go ahead and start healing yourself. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like... You're going to say, oh, look, something's OP as shit. But honestly, it's it's general around the same. I mean, you could just say the same for melee. You could say the same for magic. You could be like, oh, this person, you know, the attacks aren't hot, strong enough. No, the person's just really tanky. Now, they can be that tanky and shit, but they're not doing any damage. They might be hard to kill, 1v1, but in a group, you can kill them easy. There's so many CCs in this game that somebody will be CC'd so hard that they won't be able to uh, react to it. It's so, like, I can do decent with the CCs here. It's not enough to really keep them down. I can probably do a little bit more. But eventually they'll get immunity. But in a 1v1 situation, it's hard to say, you know, oh, um, endless arrows or triple slash or any fast casting skill that's underpowered. It's hard to say. Like, you can go against somebody easily. I'm wearing, I mean, I'm not using a mythic weapon, but I have a decent, you know, T6 epic sword, so... Damage-wise, I'm about the same. I mean, I could even go a little bit higher damage if I wanted to, and go ahead and put on a uh, Searing Oath. Break 1100 DPS now. And still, about the same. I mean, you really can't say, compare damage versus the healer to say, oh, skill's underpowered. It's not. It's just, there's advantages to each class. Healers can be tanky as hell and keep themselves alive. Archers have range, so they can just kite people for days. I mean, bitching about saying uh, endless arrows is underpowered because you can't kill one healer doesn't say anything. I could say all my skills are underpowered because I can't kill this guy. 
but it's nothing. I mean, it's just hypothesis, you know, saying, oh, I'm hitting someone who's tanky, I can't kill him. He could be in plate, and this could be even ten times harder, and still, I could say the same thing. So, yeah, it's pretty much just bias on what you're going up against. If you're going up against a healer, you're not going to do so well. Nobody's going to be, like, so tanky, but he can't do really any damage to me. He's hardly hitting me. I mean, he doesn't really have any damaging skills. Anyways, that's kind of the duel right there, I guess. Point is, you can't really go off one person versus person to say, oh, this skill's underpowered. You could do that with anything. You just have somebody buffed up. I mean, I was running 1100 attack power, and it's just like, eh, you can't really say much about it. Triple Slash did do a little bit more damage than the Endless Arrows, but Triple Slash takes a longer animation to go off compared to Endless Arrows, so you can't say much about it, really. I mean, it's just speculation saying it skills underpowered. I think the skills are pretty well balanced. It's just when you go up against the tank, it doesn't really, you know, it's hard to compare to other things saying the skill's underpowered. You could go up against somebody squishy, like I could go up against like one of these random noobs. Like over here, I don't even know if any of these ones are here. 141, that's how it works. I'll go up against like this healer. Or, I don't even know. Let's go ahead and go against this guy. He's Dark Runner. Not really well geared. But you can say my skills are overpowered because I can just go with all these stuff. And he's gonna run. Okay. Not really shown. Maybe we scrimped on damage. Just. Go ahead and we'll fight Fuji Cakes again. So, I mean, you could say. You know, you could say it's overpowered easily by saying this. You could just go ahead and be like, no, oh, like that. Tank you could say it's overpowered. It's not really, though. I mean, it's just based on who you're going up against. Going up against a tank, you're not going to do anything. If you're going up, you know, mediocre Dark Runner, you'll do alright. It just depends on what you're up against. You can't really make a view based on something just fighting one person who's tanky and say it's underpowered.